Right. So right. Like being able to like disable somebody for a good five to ten seconds and just allowing your partner to really be on their own or even follow up, it's pretty strong. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Trainer. Trainer Falco. Oh. Yeah, and even like up tilt's pretty easy to like follow up off mm -hmm. as well. And up tilt like commands a lot of space, really solid anti air. Yeah. Pretty much Falco's like main move. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what this matchup is going to look like starting on Battlefield. A trainer, a character we haven't seen too much of today. That's true. You know, usually we see, like, a good amount of, of trainers, especially with, like, how versatile this, this cast is. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, pretty much trainer... Again, a very meta character. Uh, we see it a lot at uh, top level play. Falco, not so much. Um, still, definitely a respected character. A lot of people will put Falco in like the high tier area, like almost there, but not quite there. Right. Okay. Yeah, Juice has some pretty good results for Falco. Yeah, back throw into back air from Prom Wolf, but unfortunately getting the sour spot. Up B out of shield, very strong, and actually catches the the Ivy Sword. Yeah, Chrome Up B can be pretty tricky uh, to deal with without a shield. Just because it's so quick, and then you gotta deal with like sometimes it'll shield poke you because it's so much hit. It has armor on the first hit. Okay, up smash. I'm gonna be safe on shield. Just look at both these spaces swinging. Oh, and there's the frame trap up air into the back air there. That Falco back air still hits like a truck. <laughs> okay, but so is that drill peck. Fortunately, Prom will still be living, catching two players with a little bit of friendly fire. Falco definitely has that double jump too, so his offstage is pretty phenomenal. I mean, still not like the crazy best, but you, you just have like a really, really good double jump with Illusion. It's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. But it's worth it. It's traps coming out from Ivysaur. You know, a good amount of nares and even push, pressuring with down air at the ledge. Now, finally, everyone here at the two stock marker here, so close to even. This, this uh, That first stock was very back and forth. The Ivy Nair. Oh, almost gets the follow up though with the up smash. Oh, but Blue Team going to work here. Yeah. Many up airs. We're really focusing on the Ivy You can see like the damage difference between Falco and Ivy Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the up. Up the out of shield. He's going to rack up more percentage here on the Ivy Sword. Gets the grab though. Maybe can set up some kind of gimp. No, it's going to drift right into the ledge there. Maybe get a V reversal, but that back air catches beneath the ledge. Yeah, and like you said, Trainer was getting focused. Uh, didn't switch to the Charizard quick enough, and the Ivysaur is going to get blown up, and the the Krom side, and that is so much value here for the blue team because Krom was already at pretty high percent. Yeah. Yeah, he's really close to like losing, especially with him being a big body of Charizard. You know, really just one, two hits away from losing his stock. So making that, utilizing it to his own advantage. But now we see the down air connect, and now we have even stocks. Yeah, but the, the difference is Falco is much ready to get killed here. Yes, in fact, even getting hit enough already being max rage. Sour spot Nair almost enough to do it from Wolf. Yeah, that's that's when you know it's uh it's big trouble here, especially when Krom walks up on you. So many moves that can just faintly take the stock. You just you just gotta get breathed on at that point. Mm -hmm. Isn't it interesting that like Falco was in fact oh no, no, no because we saw a share stock, never mind. Ledge trap here. Look at that. You, you hit you hit my teammate, but I'll be right there to cover him. Yeah, this dropping there is going to cover a good amount of options. With big body like Charizard, it's going to be very difficult. Oh, okay. I like the what they were going for. Yeah, almost at the sweet spot back air there. But yeah, it, it, it's just so tough because Charizard just gets ledge trapped so hard, and you don't want to switch into Squirtle because you're just like super light. But jab back here, pays the bills. Always, Man. always. What do you? What more do you need? You have jab back here. Yeah, jab back here, man. Especially on a big body like Charizard, that that joint's gonna work forever. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's probably one of the most solid confirms in the game. And I mean, jab space jab is so hmm. tough to punish, right? It's minus ten on block, but if you account like it being spaced on your shield, that's when it gets really tricky to deal yeah. with. So let's see if we have any character switches coming out from Red Team. I mean, 
Just gonna stick it with the bird and the trainer here. I think it really comes down to like Pokemon trainer. Just well, no, I guess it's just the, like the team as a whole. Real understanding that Pokemon trainer was in fact a target, and that Falco needed to be in an area somewhat close so that he could interrupt in case he needed to throw out the laser, or even if he needed to side B or in fact just be a threat. Yeah, and another thing too is you, you really gotta make blue team suffer off stage. Uh, their their characters are very very strong on stage. They they command a lot of area with their large hitboxes, disjoints, especially on the prom as well. So uh, you really gotta make them suffer off stage. I mean, Falco and Pokemon Trainer are definitely characters that can go off stage and really like make plays happen, right? Right, right. Okay, well, there's a flow chart starting for Falco. We saw an up tilt into Nair. Like this wolf is on the chase, trying to take a member of Star Fox out. There's the back here, trying to get the vine with high, but wow, the wolf flash with the sweet spot as well. That did a ton of damage, because not only was that the wolf flash, wolf flash sweet spot, but that was also a back air from Krom. Wow, can Krom live at this point? No, barely can't make it back, even with that directional air dodge. Did not have the double jump, and wow, just like that, we see uh, Blue Team getting uh, pretty messed up there. Yeah, it was a very good pickup for Red Team, but you can see those numbers that Red Team has. They're both in the red zone already. You know, being three stocks apiece, very easy to pick that up. How much damage can you get is the question, right? Yes. Uh, can you make this lead worth it? And they're, they're slowly tacking it on the Wolf here. Oh, man. Justin, they didn't get much on him, though. Yeah, I mean, 47% is a good amount of percentage. It's like one conversion. Yeah. One good conversion. Right, he gets his off, drops on fair with the Falco. Tossed up, but right there, Krom was there to interrupt. He had to go right in the shield. He had to respect that. Mm -hmm. He was trying to get the punish from a back throw, but immediately going in the shield, Krom very smart. Jumping with the back air. Just seeing swinging and swinging, hit after hit in this match. Tech chase here. Oh, this back throw, not quite it. Almost took out, like when Squirtle's getting kills. Ooh, and <laughs> that was really good from Krom. Uh, pretty much interrupted the Ivysaur down air setup there. Yeah, you could tell he was, that's really what he was trying to go for there, but Prom with the interruption, saving his partner, and now we see the big Charizard. We're gonna see a Flare Blitz at the side. Oh, recovering low. Yeah, everyone pretty much at kill percent here. Just as I say it, there goes one member each from the red and blue team. Who's gonna get this slight edge though? Directional air dodge from Prom and the get up attack. Again, back on stage. Yeah, you see both of the unhealthy members are right next to each other too. They're duking it out. Charizard going for a down air. It's not going to whip. Wow, throwing a bunch of attacks at this ledge. Chaz Tech going to connect to Charizard. Oh wow, up smash does not take Prom out. But uh, the Charizard up smash the will better do the up trick. smash. <laughs> yeah. And Charizard is tanky, but not tanky enough. Maybe not the greatest DI on that. But nonetheless, everyone here, last stock a piece. Yeah, and for a brawl like that, that this game has been, that means essentially all the characters have been relatively close to each other in proximity. And, right, like everyone's just hitting everyone. <laughs> yeah, it, it can be really, sometimes that's the one thing that can be so hard about those. It's very hard to focus when everything is so clustered and you have to be able to make those pinpoint decisions really quick mm -hmm. in those very like stressful moments where all four people are right next to each other. That's true. Like, even right there, we saw Nair 1 into Jab. Usually, we'll see Krom go for the back air because it's the, you know, it's the bread and butter follow-up. But he retreated back knowing that Wolf was in danger. And right now, Red Team with all the control right now. Not too high of a percentage, so this is going to be a pretty tough uh, tough battle here. 71% on a Charizard. Okay, up smash right through the platform. Yeah, and Falco was... Charging the up smash on the right, it was just like, where do you go at that point? <laughs> yeah, gonna even up here, right on the board. Now 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the stage pick will be. I mean, this stage pick is actually super important, especially for this matchup, because you can see just how close both these teams are. Right. I feel like just having the bigger stage is gonna give, um, Wolf Krom just that much more of, of an advantage. Oh, for sure. Now we'll, we'll see what they favor. I mean, it looked like they liked Battlefield in the like previous matches, the previous counter picks. I don't know if we'll be going there again. I, I, I didn't even see what stage they picked. Uh, I don't believe it was Battlefield. All right, well, we're about to find out. No character switches, of course. 
Seems like everyone's just sticking out their mains. Kalos is the pick, the stage. Very large, um, large blast zones, large room to work with, so everyone's gonna have a lot of space to work with. Some characters might be living to uh, a little longer percent, and wow, this Squirtle combo going hard right now. And not only the Squirtle, but the Falco did work as well. You see members of Blue Team racking up a good amount of damage. Oh, man. Everyone is getting uh, tossed right now. The percentage <laughs> is flying back and forth. Everyone is smacking each other up. You know what? Who needs space? Let's just all gather together in a corner. <laughs> Forget this large stage. Okay, good down throw into a B. Yeah, everyone just came to the middle and was drawing <laughs> it out. <laughs> I mean, that's what makes an exciting match, though. It's like super fun to watch is when everyone's just swinging at each other. Oh, yeah. Like, obviously, it's not mindless swinging, but at the same time, like, whew, they, they are just trying to put numbers on the board. Okay, right now, Tarzard on that tank life, 148%, but everyone is at that Joe percent, I feel like, and man, people are getting so close to losing this first stock. Man, and the stocks are flying. Who is dead? Who is not? Okay, it looks like Wolf, the Spaceys were able to survive the onslaught. Surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Usually they're the first to go. <laughs> yeah, the Zarya got taken out there. Sliding Etilt to take out Falco. How long can Wolf survive here? Get some trades with the down tilt. We'll finish him off. White Knight. Right now, blue team with the control in the center. Trying to keep the score out, and that's the thing about Krom too. You can play so well out of shield when you're trying to control an area. Just because up B out of shield is so so fast, does so much damage. I mean, oh, you yeah. are dead. Very good pickup from from our Pokemon trainer. Yep, caught that double jump, and if you read a Krom's double jump, that's pretty much his soul. Like that, that's gonna be the stock right there. Okay, off stage situation here for Krom. You gotta watch out. So we'll get hit up though. And Falco, unfortunately, in a position where he's not really able to help with the recovery of Pokemon Trainer. He was stuck between two members of Blue Team. Yeah, and Falco definitely not known for being the uh, fastest of the spaces, so it, it can be pretty rough for him to like come in and intercept. Like he has laser, but it's pretty slow. And the Wolf Flash is gonna take Zar right off the top there. Squirtle with the down tilt connecting. Oh. Okay, switching straight to the Ivysaur, gets the down tilt. Oh, and catches the lag on that directional air dodge. Gonna just dunk that Krom. Once again, another Gimp on this Krom on the left side. Makes very good use, especially with that big hitbox that that down air has from Ivysaur. But able to pick up the stock on Falco. We have one stock apiece, but Wolf sitting at 118%. He's, so, he's trying to play so safe. Look at that, retreating back air, able to connect. Now, considering all the uh, early Gimps we've been seeing, from the Ivy onto the Krom, this game is pretty close, considering that. Yes. yes right I mean, now. really, it's just up to Krom to, you know, start to build up more of the damage on the red team, because Wolf is not going to be in a position to help. Oh, man, barely surviving that back throw, but, ooh, angled the Wolf Flash a little bit too low. Wasn't able to, uh, like, snap the ledge there. He, he was scared of the flamethrower, though. I mean, can't you just, like, continue to use the, the up B over and over and over? Oh, my God. Goodness, and that. I don't know if it was intentional, but it Yo. was sick. I'm going to say that that was. Because we saw Charizard Amazing go for the Charizard. down throw. Go for the down throw immediately. Falco has smashed. Almost like they knew. Yeah, trainer even shouted Charizard out. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing, Charizard. You got hit by that forward smash on purpose so you could set up, and you knew that he would get hit by the sweet spot, and you get hit by the sour spot, so it set you up for a back air. What kind of a Pokemon trainer would do that? Like, Charizard, take the hit! <laughs> Charizard's is like, <laughs> whack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't dodge it. <laughs> Charizard's is like, man, my trainer's whack. What's going on? <laughs> All right, but nonetheless, they were able, and it looks like we're going right back to Cal's here. All right, so, I mean, like I said, considering everything that happened, the blue team kept it very, very close, even though Krom got gimped at very, very early percents from Ivysaur particularly. When you get those early stocks taken from Ivysaur, it can be... It can be very hard to bring it back in from those situations. Def Ivysaur definitely a character known for doing that. Right, right, right. Gigantic down air. And Krom swinging it. Everything red. Just seeing red all over the place. 
Yeah, I mean, that, that's the crazy thing about Krom. Even when he doesn't get like true combo stuff, usually those soft resets that follow from like falling up air and stuff like that, the, the hitboxes just keep coming out and usually you can't beat those beat him out in those situations. <laughs> okay, good tech, but unfortunately oh. throwing out the upbeat a little bit too early. May have been thinking that he was gonna land on the platform. Very unfortunate for Krom. Yeah, and that that sucks. It's, you can even like uh, I know a lot of people the muscle memory is not quite there yet, but you can uh, you can tech wall jump air dodge or tech yeah. if you're that close to the ledge you could have like tech in a buffer air dodge upward stuff like that. Oh man, but right now Krom already losing his first stock and they red team going to work on this second stock. Man, red team looking so healthy. Yeah, they actually had taken Krom's jump when they were like pretty much bouncing him all over the stage. You know, they had utilized it. They could have gone for like another. Like early stock with Ivysaur down air, with landing a couple of lasers and a very good save from Wolf. Yeah, trying to ledge trap my teammate. Here is the boot. Oh, uh, that yeah. animation makes me laugh every time because he just like punts the enemy, almost like a football player. Yeah, it's crazy too because uh, there's even like this little razor noise that comes out in the beginning because there's blades on his boots. It, it's <laughs> sick. The little, the little things, man. <laughs> Sakurai did an amazing job. Sakurai and his team did an amazing job on this game. Yeah, and, and the crazy thing about Wolf's dash stack too is there's a hitbox that sends you up and a hitbox that sends you out. So sometimes you can crush the eye up and all sorts of stuff. And it sounds like an amazing character. But blue team sitting at one stock apiece while we have four still with the red team. Team Falco and Pokemon Trader might in fact take us over Lemon Team and Corona. Yeah, and it's even it's just crazy because I feel like Lemon Team and Corona were pretty dominant that first game. They were. Like, so the fact that. Uh, you know, Red Team was able to bring it back into their favor like this. And this demanding of a fashion definitely sets up the Vine Whip. Oh, so close to connecting. Oh, the Wolf. Yeah, she's going for the... Oh, almost gets the double back air combo. You know, we're going for style points right now. I just need to see a Flare Blitz. Okay, you know, that was pretty stylish too. I'll give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Darren, I'm out of the Wolf Flash there. Tried to get something going, but Red Team will prevail. Yeah, so congratulations to our red team. You know, they're advancing into bracket. Uh, let's see, we should be at the point where where doubles is just one one like uh, one bracket now. Right, right. So I believe that uh, Deuce and Enzo will be playing Suarez and Stocktaker 69. All right. Stocktaker 69, a very talented player from the tri-state region. Uh, Mains Wolf Politana and also has the Wii Fit Trainer. I know he uses a lot of the Wii Fit for doubles, so hopefully we get to see it. I love watching his Wii Fit. It's very exciting, very fun to watch.